232 was put in, they fell to aid the team that is the underdog, usually the team that has the three. Now, in a lot of cases, we've had years where the team that had the three was not the underdog, okay? Uh, this year, the team that has the three is up three games to one. That's not what it was put in for. It was put in for so that the team that was down, that was the lesser team, so that they would have a chance, meaning that if they're down three games to one, they have game five in their building, the networks made money. The idea was always to get the series to six games. The sixth game was the game that became profitable for the networks. The networks made their money on game six and seven. So what you would try to do is, if the team has the fifth game in their building, versus not having the fifth game in their building, it keeps them alive, okay? So you're down 3-1. You have game five now in your building, you win that game, the team that has the two games and has the home court advantage goes back and wins game six at home. That was the premise of it, to extend the series to the sixth game more times for the underdog than not. Now, a lot of times it's turned out where the middle team has had the three and has actually been leading. And then it changes things dramatically. So from that standpoint, but you know, if you have a team that's clearly the heavy favorite and they're on the front end, because you know there were years where the Bulls were were the underdog, where they didn't have the best record, and they had the middle three games. There were years like that. Okay. So the point is, the idea was to create that for the underdog. But there's times when that has impacted the series. I'll give you a perfect example. The Celtics are out in Boston, in L.A. They win an incredible game four in overtime, what is known as the Bird game. Bird and Dennis Johnson come back, make the incredible comeback, win the game. Now the series is 2-2. Instead of going back to Boston for game five, which would have given them a win in game five back in Boston, they played game five a couple nights later in L.A. Byron Scott hit his first 22 shots, and L.A. ran them right out of the building and won a series in six games. And the Celtics were always like, man, if we had Game 5 in our building, we would have won that series. And they very much well might have. But they had to go, they had to basically play Game 5 in L.A. And then the Celtics went home and won Game 6 in Boston. I mean, the Lakers went home and won Game 6 in Boston, but they it was 2-2. And it is a huge comeback for the Lake, for the Celtics. Bird was sensationally like 20 points in the fourth quarter of game four. They won the game in overtime. Bird and Dennis Johnson were great. And then you have to hang around and play game five back in L.A. And, you know, they killed them in game five. And then won the series in six. So that game, you know, it depends how it shakes out. But it was really put in to minimize travel and to hope that the underdog would more often than not extend the series to a sixth game.